The Greenway family actually showing real life Despite social media feeding us who that real hype We just some real guys trying to give some high definition To reality family acrobatically juggling life Small for them tries to avoid eternal casualty trust It ain't easy, but teamwork make the dream work It's me, Ella, Hesse, Hosanna, Harper and Halle uh-huh. And I ain't forget that has a ride to the family Yes, Greenway gang, what is good? So we are back and I hope you enjoyed our last video where we surprised the girls with their brand new Pandora bracelets. Um, if you haven't checked that video out, please go and check that out. And if you're not subscribed here, please do and turn your notification bell on so you know when we post a new video. Right, now, this one, Hezzy was surprising, but now he is going to be the surprise. <laughs> oh, it <laughs> is. <laughs> Oh, yes. All right, cool, cool, cool. I'm so excited because I don't know how excited you'll be. <laughs> he is. He's going to be so, Sorry, so excited. That's all right. No, no problem. Go, go, go. Take off. So, the lady of the house, everybody. <laughs> Ella Louise Victoria Grimm. So, we have to give you the backdrop mm. uh, to this surprise, right? So, mm. this is a pair of football boots. Yes. Heavy. And basically, the way it goes with, with football boots is basically once you get to a size three and a half, you can purchase the football boots that like professional players, like the spec that professional players actually wear. Yeah. But up until that point, you have to get like a second lower rate yeah, kind of one. Yeah, because they make different versions of different them. Different grades kind and, of thing. And they only make the top grade one yes. once you go over a three and a uh, half. So a like UK size three and a half. Uh-huh. And bless Hezzy, I don't know how many of you may have met him in the flesh, but he's mm-hmm. not the biggest. And he's basically, he small. he's small for his age. <laughs> mm-hmm. And he's got the smallest feet, for example, in his academy. Yep. So out of all of his mates, he's never yet been able to have the proper, like, professional level standard. And do you bit. know how much that kills us? Because <laughs> you know, Grimway Gang, if you are loyal to this channel, right, Hissa, yeah. you, you know. are going to know that he is <laughs> dedicated, dedicated to, to football. this football sport. Precisely. I'm telling you. And I mean, even though, like, he just got a new pair of boots for Christmas right mm. um, but unfortunately they are still a tad too big for him so he can't because actually wear like them like a pair yet. of jeans yeah like a pair of jeans for example you ladies would know out there mm-hmm. you can't just go I'm a size 10 and or what have you yeah and <laughs> men as well I'm a size 10 or 34 waist or whatever it is mm. and that's definitely going to fit me no matter what shop I go into yeah. it just depends on the different shop and all these sorts of things and even yeah. Two pairs of jeans that are the same in one shop in the past, for me, have fitted Come me up differently. Different. Yeah, I worked that out. Do you know what I mean? So you have to... It's the same with boots. Like, just because there's a Nike Mercurial boot or something... And it's in a two, and you're a two. Yeah, it doesn't mean that that one in that specific model is going to fit, or the other one <clears throat> is not going to Because also, and... with the boots, or soccer cleats, as some of the states may say, um, they're narrow, some of them. Some of them are a for wider, a wider foot. Yeah. Um, Adidas are different from and Nike. And you don't know until you Mm-mm. try the boot on. Now... Yes. Hezzy, my little boy Hezzy, has been doing some training with one of his good friends. Mm-hmm. JJ, you got to yep. check out his channel. That's correct. JJ10. So, yeah. And, and basically, JJ is not the biggest either. No, they're, but about, he does they're exactly the same in size. In height, <laughs> but JJ's feet, I guess, are the same size as Hezzy's. Yes, as well. they're, they're all similar. Like, yeah. JJ's a little bit maybe slimmer, but in foot size, they're like pretty much they're exactly the same. the same, and height, they're exactly the same. So, they were training the other day. I wasn't there, but Tim was with mm-hmm, Hezzy, mm-hmm. and basically, JJ allowed Hezzy to try on his boots. Yes, and now he had gone into Night Town to find out. Um, they have just randomly tried it. They put mm. two socks on him and said, "Oh, JJ, try this out." Because of course he's never baller and he desperately wanted the professional grade exactly. boots as well. Exactly. So he went and tried them on, and they tried the three and a half, which is the smallest, the high grade ones come in, and bingo! Yeah. All of a sudden, these sp- specific boots. boots. Fit, fit him and also Hezzy knows from, like glass summers, <laughs> from summers before where they've played matches and tournaments together mm-hmm. and stuff they've sometimes shared boots yeah they have so he yeah. knows just from the get go wait something fits JJ that's going to fit me yeah and so Jay was like here Hez because like, he they're clocks. so close yeah, he's yeah, like yeah. Here, Hez try, it, try on. it on and lo and behold it was like oh yeah it was, it was a moment he was like dad they, <laughs> fit. they fit they fit they fit me dad look feel <laughs> them dad because he's making sure dad feel the tone mm-hmm. like they fit so as much as they're a three and a half this particular Particular style of boot actually mm, fits. Yeah. So Hezzy, of course, he's a very polite child. Yes. And when it comes to getting new stuff and whatnot, mm-hmm. he tries to be very understanding. He knows there's five of them in the family, and he knows that, for example, this these boots, the professional ones, are actually a bit expensive. Mm-hmm. So he's never outrightly said, "Mum, please." He, he can never I get does. These? He never does. He that. never does. What he does, he does a few. He does things. the research. He does the cleverly. research. He asks for your phone a lot, and 
he yeah. goes and because he, he doesn't really play games on a phone, but he goes on and he goes on the night store yeah. and he starts making custom Find, yeah, boots. Yeah, finds or, out where you could get them from. He finds different stores. Store He's very times. good. <laughs> <laughs> and then what did he ask for so you even for today, even today, today he was like oh mum what are we doing for the rest of the day and I'm like oh well you know I've got a few chores to do bloody so like, oh, do you think we could maybe go on a date because any time one of the kids goes out with one of us parents mm-hmm. by themselves we make it a date yeah. so it's like could we make could we go mm-hmm. out on a date like the girls love having daddy daughter dates with me yeah and, and likewise Hezzy with myself it. although it doesn't happen that often mm-hmm. maybe more so recently the last year yeah, but yeah. yeah so he's like oh maybe just me and you so that it, you know it's not too much for you like could we maybe go up to central London and go Check to Night Town mm-hmm. um, because I was like here's we're not going Night Town and I just cut him off already knowing that we've ordered these boots I was just like here's today's not the day I put my mummy stern voice <laughs> I was like no here's today's not the day I've got too much to do we're not going to Night Town so then he was oh, like oh, bless him. okay cool well you know whatever suits your schedule mum and mm. I said well sometime maybe before the baby's born he goes well only if that's not too much for you which I thought was so, so considerate so, of him yeah. he was like only if it's not too much for you mum like at mm. some point maybe we could go on a date together to go to Nike Town to see if we could like try the boots that JJ had or what have you mm-hmm. and I'm like okay cool and he full well knows that his sister's not due for another like eight weeks so mm-hmm. he knows this is going to require some patience but what he does know is that his mama and his papa yeah we have got him those boots man we have got him got him the they're right here and um <laughs> literally we are at home and ella has sent the kids to my mum and dad's yes. um just for a couple of hours so she could crack on with some uh, ironing um, and stuff yep. little chores that are just mounting up mm-hmm. with our busy days yep. which is totally fine 100 percent. it allowed me to get on with some work but it also allowed us to do this little bit of filming yeah. right here so when he comes back, we are going to surprise him with these boots. But the only thing that I will say is that we're going to have to uh, kind of yes. do it on the down low a bit. So we're going to surprise him. Yes. But And it's not a down low from the girls, but it's more nope. so from Rue. Because as some of you may have seen on our Instagram on Christmas Day, if you don't follow us yet on our Instagram, it's at the Grimway mm-hmm. family. When Hezzy got his boots for Christmas, Rue was just like, oh, yeah. Rue's boots, so Ryan's boots. You, you saw, you watched on the Instagram story, right? Yeah, yeah, so yeah, I'm saying. yeah, yeah. So, yeah, yeah. So, Rue desperately wants boots as well, but again, has her eyes feet and not quite big enough yet for any boots. So. But he's got one pair, but this, this is literally the only pair that he could get. Mm-hmm. So I'm not going to go and buy him the same ones over and over. So we can't really let Hazariah see. He will clock when he sees Hezzy with them that Hezzy's got new boots. But we just thought for the peace of tonight, we shall try and keep Hazariah out of the mix when it comes to giving Hezzy these new boots. So, so it might guys, be a little bit hush. Yes. So <laughs> bear with us. And stick with us, because we are going to surprise Hezzy with these boots. Yes, be and I can't any wait. Time now. Any minute now. <laughs> so, stick with us. Right. Go. Now, Sterling. Mm-hmm. Oh, didn't we read a little bit of this? Yeah, we read the first chapter. Now, chapter two. Jamaican sunshine. Mm-hmm. It was a special vase. 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 Okay. It was a special vase, one that had been handed down from generation to generation, dusted regularly and placed proudly on a shelf in the main room. The ball bounced up almost in slow motion Uh-oh. and just missed and just missed the vase, but it still made the shelf shake. How many times? How many times have I told you, Raheem? His grandmother yelled. Oh, many at times me I tell you, Raheem. Probably how it went. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, well, obviously, I didn't write that for the European book, so yeah. the whites could read it. <laughs> now, um. Yes, lick your lips, man, they're too dry. I just, um. I just them. brushed them. Um. <clears throat> grandmother yelled as she stormed into the room No football, no football in the house! <laughs> the <laughs> sun is shining! Find your friends and take the game outside! <laughs> yeah. She yeah, shook her head as she dis up as she pointed towards the back door. <laughs> Go on, Rastamos. Raheem knew all about that rule, but he couldn't help it. He was only five years old and he had a lot of energy. He looked at the floor to show that he felt bad <laughs> about nearly breaking the vase. I'm sorry, he mu- I'm sorry, he mumbled. I I won't do it again. Then he raced outside into the bright sunshine, carrying the ripped ball, and had also almost got him in 
big trouble. That carrying the ripped ball that had also that that had almost got him in trouble. Carrying the ripped ball that had almost got him in trouble. At the corner of the street, he saw one of his friends, Christopher. He waved. Want to play? Christopher smiled. This wasn't the first time that he had seen Raheem rush outside looking a little guilty. So Let's come sit here so Mummy can I know, sit. I know that Rui's not fully asleep yet, but I think I'll come and listen to him. Come now, man. What? It would stink. Oh, but can you get off my pillow, please? Can you come forward, please, Frederick? Head, you get me. What? What are this? <laughs> this kid. Oh, no, lad. <laughs> Is this Raheem Sterling? Yeah, man. In my player football in our mom's house. In my player football in our grandma's house. In our grandma's house. In our grandma's house. So it's mm. not that bad. No. How about your accent? It usually meant that his you friends had oh. caused damage Straight in the back, house buddy. by kicking the ball too hard. Sure, let's go out to Leon and Ridley as well. I'll get some of my dad's paint. Paint cans to use as goalposts. Just like that, the game was underway. That was the beauty of living in Jamaica. Raheem never had to worry about the weather. It was mm. almost, it was almost always I sunny. Think we should move to Jamaica. Should we move to Jamaica? Who would I play for? <laughs> Jamaica. I guess there is that. I wonder, I wonder what boots Raheem had. Mm, no boots. <laughs> you reckon he had no boots? Mm, yeah. Wow, oh, man. I wonder if he had these boots. What? Well, my tummy went weird. Your tummy, Your tummy went, went weird. weird. What the flip? Why? I, 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 I don't know. Just <laughs> open it. What? See it. See it. I wonder if Raheem had these boots when I he was there. I don't know if he did. <gasps> Whoa! These are. <laughs> These are sick. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, you're all right. Mm, <laughs> you're all right. See why we can go on a date now today. Yeah. That's why you can go on a date. <laughs> and um, yeah, you're actually being filmed. You've been, been pranked. Filmed. Oh, no. <laughs> Surprised and pranked all at the same time. Oh, dear. These are sick. Uh, They've got like a rainbow effect yeah. in there. I've not seen them in real life. Got that bottom shiny bit. <laughs> <laughs> so are these the what are these? ACC, his? they're the real type. Yeah. Like there's ones that are fake mm -hmm. and there's got different material to this. Mm -hmm. It's very it's different. It's like to very this. it's very hard. Plasticky. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> and then this material is like it's Woven soft. Almost, isn't yeah, it? mm -hmm. it's soft mm -hmm. and hard. It's nice. It's like it's got a moulded shape to it, but it's got I don't know. It must hug your foot nice, man. Yeah. But so what do you reckon? Is that is that cool? This is sick. And these are your first <laughs> ACCs ever. Like the proper. Yeah. Proper, so these are the proper the ones. Proper real deal. And these are the first one. He's been playing football for as long. Wait, can I get some socks? Yeah, of course you can. Go on. Get some <laughs> so guys, I think we're gonna end it there because he's gonna go and he's gonna try, try these on, proper. even though it's like. You know, what o'clock at night. Yeah. But hey, is you happy with them? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, guys. I'm sure we'll get a picture or something. Oh, 100%. Yeah, yeah so. so go and check us out on Insta <laughs> if you want to see the picture with him in his boots. Um, oh, but yeah, guys, dear. thanks for tuning in. And if you want to see more stuff like this, then please just let us know, man. I want to um, fit my foot. No, come on, man. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> take care, guys. <laughs> take care, bye. So, you think you were right? Bring it up, bring it up, prove me wrong.